Welcome back. Typically, applications have a lot of configuration. For example, in the data layer, you might be talking to a database. So the URL to the database or the data source connection to the database might be different in different environments. Also, the external services that you talk to might be different in different environments. So you're, the service you'd be talking to in dev would be different from the service you'd be talking to in production. So these kind of values are good to be externalized into property files. In this step, we will look at how to read values from property files in a Spring application. As usual, we'll create a new class. Control N, new class. I would want to call this some external service. I would want to put it in the package dot properties. I should have done that earlier itself, but not a problem. Let's do it right now. So now it's in the package properties. And now I would want to actually have a URL. So here I would want to have something called a URL. So this URL, I would want it to be different in different environments. So I would want to get this value from property file. Let's just have a public method in here, void. Let's just say public string return service URL. Typically, this would be something like a call service or something like that. For now, let it just return the value which it reads from the property file. So now, I'd want to be able to return the URL which is configured in here. Typically, the property files which we would use, we'll put it in source main resources. Create a new file here called pro new. Let's create a new general file. I'll call this app dot properties. In here, I would want to be able to configure the value of this URL. So I'll say external dot service dot URL is equal to HTTP colon some server dot dev dot com slash service. Let this be the URL of the external service. Now I would want to read the value from this property value over here. So I would want to read this value over here. So if you want to read the value from a property file, the way you would do that is use an annotation called at value. Over here, I can pass this within the double quotes. Now I can import the at value annotation in and also what I would need to do is actually have a specific syntax that I would need to follow. You have to put it between dollar open brace and close brace. So this is something which a lot of people make a mistake with. So if you don't have this, then this will not really work. So now, so I'm saying pick up the value from the property file, pick up this value from the property file. But I have not said the app.properties, I have not really configured it anywhere. We will configure that when we are loading up the context. So let's create a new context. Let's take the basic application, make a copy of it. And I would want to actually call this spring in five steps properties app properties application. Let's close everything else and open this one up. Properties application. And over here, what we would want to do is we would want to say that I would want to load in app.properties. That number one. So I would want to load in app.properties. We need to define that in here. Other than that, I would want to load the some external service bin. So I would want to say some external service dot class. I would want to get this and put it in here. And let's rename this. I'll just call this service. Let's organize the imports so that I get the some external service. I'll remove all the other stuff because I'm not interested in that. This is cool, right? So now we are able to get the external service, but we have not yet configured the app.properties. So how do we tell this configuration to load app.properties? The way you can do that is by defending an annotation, as simple as that. So you'd say at property source. So this is a property source. And I would say, you can put the name of the thing. This is present in source main resources. So I can say class path app dot 
properties. Now run as Java application. Let's see if it's picking up the value from the property file. Oops, it's saying no, some external service available. What is the reason? Think about it because we don't have an add component here. As simple as that. Let's add the add component in. Let's run it again. Now you would see that some external service is being printed in here. Let's call the method also. So right now we are just calling the, we are printing the service. So let's say service dot get return service URL. Let's run it again. All shift X run Java application. You'd see that it's picking up the value from the property file. What you can do is you can actually remove the property file from sourceman resources and put it outside and have that folder in the class path of the application. So by that, you, in your production, you can have different app.properties. In your dev, you can have different app.properties by using which you can configure your application differently in production compared to your configuration in dev, QA, or stage. In this step, we looked at how to add external configuration for your application. Until the next step, bye-bye.